Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here. Uh, I just got back after a long day of gaming, right Joan? You were, you were so sad to be all by yourself, but then I came home and you were happy. Um, so, the big battle is going on the internet, of course. And I'm here at Gab Trends, where I could still find some news uh, to find out about the various things that are going on. So, Amazon suspended Parler from its web hosting, you can see here in the headline. Um, but don't worry, uh, the CEO or the, the guy who runs Parler, I forget his name, he put out uh, a parlay, as they call it on Parler, that uh, they're in the process of moving their operations, they're going to have to find new servers. It was uh, apparently, according to him, a bit of coordination between Amazon, Google, and... Um, Guess that would be it, right? Um, so they're going to have to move their servers. And, you know, this is what Internet guys do. Um, this is the result of, I think, two competitors going after each other. And it should be, um, you know, addressed. A vertical monopoly is still a monopoly. These guys are colluding with each other to destroy their competition not by giving better service not by giving cheaper service or you know doing things that companies should do but by um, essentially cheating and and part of our government's role is to keep a level playing field for competition and they're not doing that they don't care they don't care um, and this is the kind of stuff that they want to get done while everybody else is freaking out about the Capitol Hill thing uh, Gab CEO Andrew Torba refutes New York Times slander operation. Uh, they have been slandering Gab for a long time. Gab's pretty hardcore when it comes to uh, freedom of speech. It's just like Parler and Twitter. Um, you can go on Gab and essentially, I guess they don't call it tweeting. I guess they call it gabbing. And, you know, it's the same same sort of uh, thing. Stop, stop licking the table. I, I put my food there sometimes. That's probably why you're licking. So, um, you know, Google and Apple. Oh, and Apple. I guess it was Apple. It's the other one. Because they're kicking, uh, I believe they're kicking Parler off the store. Making it impossible for you to get the phone app. And it, it, it's just ridiculous, really, that they fear it that much. I mean, it's only 2% of the population use Twitter. Um, you know. It, 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 it's it's not right that they do this to their competition. But this has been going on in computers for a long time. And, you know, computers and Internet are very similar. Uh, but back in the day, I was just saying in the comment section, you know, the Internet used to be full of badasses. Now it's just full of rich a-holes that, that, that censor people. It's ridiculous. Uh, Tom Fitton from Judicial Watch, Watch, you can see here, he was suspended from Twitter for seven days. Rush Limbaugh deleted his account, apparently, in consolidation with Trump. Um, I'm thinking about deleting mine, or at least maybe doing what Sticks and Hammer did. I'm going to delete all my tweets and then just leave leave like a final tweet up to find me on Parler and Gab and other places. And, you know, just put all my links and then call it a day. Um, so, it... it it's a shame. Um, CEO blames CIA and Mockingbird Media, this is from Gab, for latest PSYOP campaign for slew of new accounts popping out of nowhere making threats of violence. Well, that's possible. It's also possible, too, that it's just their rivals. It's, it's, just, it's just people at Twitter doing it or, or you know, uh, minions through through intermediaries to get a gab to hurt them uh, because of because Twitter doesn't want them around. Um, but it doesn't matter because ultimately, you know, there's still only 2% of the population is on Twitter. And really, when Trump got on, uh, before Trump got on, it was kind of dying. Twitter was kind of getting old and... You know, that, I think that's right around the time they added the extra characters. And then with Trump on it, you had a reason to be on Twitter. Without Trump on it, why would you be on Twitter? Why? I, I mean, 
you should see it's already an echo chamber it's already a, like a hysterical echo chamber and if anything it hurts hollywood man i'm telling you hollywood i can just tell by the way they make decisions these days these woke idiot decisions they use twitter as a gauge and it's a terrible gauge it's a terrible ga gauge of the pulse of the nation it's just not accurate there's just not enough people on it and the kinds of people on it are are sort of the same slice of the population you know it's it's i guess you would say it's it's hipsters you know a lot of it's women you know a lot of it's women with like way too much free time that's the kind of people i saw saw see on it you know especially in the writing community it's a lot of female authors and uh, people whining about their lives, and it's just like, what is wrong with you people? Um, you know, some of them are nice. Don't get me wrong. Some of them are nice, but there's a lot of whining going on on Twitter. And I don't like to be on Twitter. I still hang on because I did sell some books, but, you know, it's, I'm getting very close to just leaving. Um, but, you know, meanwhile, Free Speech Platform Gab reports... 750 percent increase in traffic you know it's making the other platforms viable they're ruining they're like essing in their own backyard it's ridiculous what they're doing um and here another another internet thing uh i don't know if you remember mozilla mozilla and firefox uh they want blood mozilla argues more must be done to rid internet of president trump and other quote bad actors I mean, this was a, uh, a browser that I used that I thought was really good, but now it's gone all woke and weird. Like, no, thank you. That's the last thing you need is a woke browser correcting your language and flagging you for saying anything off color. Um, what else? What else? I mean, it's all, again, it's all about, uh, you know, the Internet right now. Trump reveals he's negotiating with various other sites after Twitter ban. I'm not exactly sure what he's negotiating about. I mean, like, what's he going to get? Like, money from them? <laughs> like, he needs more money? I'm, I, Well, I'm sure he kind of needs a little bit of money. But um, I guess he's negotiating, like, so he doesn't get screwed like he got screwed on Twitter. But I think he should just be on everything. Why not? I mean, people would follow him. Um, I kind of understand... You know, there was some discussion about why he stayed on Twitter so long. I kind of understand that. It was a popular platform, and he could also poke the bear very easily on it. And it helped turn the tide on Twitter to some extent. It brought back conservatives onto the site. If Jack had any sense, he would have let that happen in a bigger way instead of censoring people. It would have balanced things out. Because most of the Trump supporters... Yeah, there's a few trolls in there, but for the most part, they're fine. They're fine. They, they're, you know, they're fine people. Leave them alone. They, they, they're just Republicans, and that's all. They, they say stuff all the time. They don't, you know. Look, I'm telling you, the leftists, their rhetoric is much more vicious and violent now. Uh, the kind of stuff that came out of the right wing was never like vicious and violent. Typically, it was. It was smug sometimes, and back in the day it was pretty racist, but no, not anymore. They're, they're, they, they've abandoned that kind of stuff. That kind of stuff is gone. Now the racism's on the other side, and it's really strange to me. Um, so uh, let me see if there was any more. I don't think. Yeah, Apple joins Google and Blacklisting Parlor. Uh, ACLU warns of unchecked power after Trump suspensions. Well, you know, ACLU, who cares what you say now? You've gone all woke. Uh, you've become yet another one of these operations, in my view, that just, you're just looking for money. And, uh, I, you know, I, I don't have a lot of respect for the ACLU anymore. I was, I was always, you know, a big supporter, but now, pff, forget it. Um, zero heads, the boot is coming down hard and fast. It's true. I mean, this is gonna, probably going to get worse before it gets better. Um, and, uh, you know, they're, they're coming down because it's like the peasants raided the castle and now 
they have to be punished. Um, and here, Zero Hedge reports, Twitter allows hang Mike Pence to trend after banning Trump for inciting violence. And this has been typical on Twitter. There's been tons of stuff. You can see leftists say things all day long. And there's some of the most violent, vicious, horrible things you'll ever see. They never get suspended. They're, 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 they're allowed free reign. But when it's a conservative, it's like, aha, finally, you messed up. You're gone. Um, and sometimes it's not even a, a, a threat or anything. It's something that maybe could be interpreted as, that way. I remember when uh, Razor Fist, who I'm a big fan of, was in a discussion about, uh, I believe, famous guitarist. And he mentioned a guitarist whose last name was Lynch. And because, and they were going back and forth, he was going back and forth with somebody else discussing heavy metal. And he asked him, well, who's your favorite guitarist or something? And he said something like Lynch, Lynch all day. And they interpreted that as a violation of the rules. And, you know, when he went back to, uh, you know, dispute it, they gave him all sorts of problems. And eventually, I think he got back on. But, I mean, it's just ridiculous what they do. And I don't think they would have done that to a, a, a left leaning person. I think they got everybody flagged. It's very easy to do. I mean, it's all computer code, right? It doesn't take much to just put something in the code to tag people a certain way. And then, you you know, it's all a database. So it's just uh, one line of code, boom, and you're tagging people who say anything, who act a certain way, who, uh, you know, I mean, how hard would it be to write a line of code that said anybody who uh, is a, uh, you know, following the Republican Party of, you know, all these Republican parties. You just tag them all. It'd be easy. And then the moment they step out of line, boom, you get an alert and you, and you flag them. And you, you, you essentially, to me, it's like, it's like online harassment, but it's done electronically behind the scenes. I've seen that, you know, in my own sort of work here. And uh, I can't prove anything. This is just my opinion based on the weird stuff that happens. So, for instance, on YouTube, I, I get comments just disappear. I don't know why. I know. It's very upsetting, Joe. Comments disappear. Um, you know, the videos don't disappear. But the engagement just suddenly dies. And I don't know why. And then on certain things, it doesn't die. And I, and I can't tell you why. I can tell you that almost all the political stuff is the stuff that seems to get axed. And when it's not political, it doesn't for a while. But, um, yeah, I mean, I, I and, and the whole Internet has a different feel. What you have to understand is, and you may not remember, even as recently as, say, 10 years ago, you could put something online and if it caught fire man it would just take off it would just take off you get hundreds of thousands of hits um and, I, and that happened to me a few times uh with some of my comics but now it's really tough once you once you once you get about a thousand hits somewhere that's it, it they kind of like cut you off at the knees and that's it um and this has happened on all the sites where you can promote all the social media sites definitely imger you know i was I was clocking thousands of hits on Imgur, Imgur with some of my ca cartoons. Now, you can't you can't make any headway. I, that's why I don't post as much on some of these social media sites. They just they just won't give me the hits. And I think the, the the it's been gamed because it's it's always been a facet of the left to social engineer. And now that they have this internet they think they can finally do it <laughs> they think they can finally fix everybody's brain oh if we just get everybody to think the same that'll solve our problems and they just don't understand it just doesn't work it just doesn't work people say crazy stupid stuff and again by distorting the market no matter how you attempt to distort it even if you're attempting to distort it in what you perceive as a good way there are always unforeseen consequences 
And so I think these tech giants are ruining their own sites, but they don't care. They've got so much money, they think they can buy their way out of trouble and, and crush all their opposition. And, and, and for a while, they will. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to be on Twitter. I, like I said, I think I'll probably stay because I am getting book sales from it, but I got to start working on some of my other platforms. So um, there's links in the description. Follow me on Parler, Gab, Minds, um, and of course, BitChute and Rumble. And my apologies to my Rumble uh, viewers. Uh, I had problems with Rumble last night loading up the videos. So I'm loading up yesterday's videos tonight. And hopefully I'll get all eight up and uh, we'll, we'll all be caught up. Right, Joan? I know. I know. Uh, all right. On to the next video.